everybody, what's up? It's Lisa from To Create a Website. Okay, so you probably know by now that you can embed links into your YouTube videos and click them over or link them over to your website. This is not new functionality, it's been around for some time. But the reason I'm doing this video is that this technology or functionality was broken for a lot of people. It was broken for me. So I'm doing this video to not only educate those of you guys that don't know how to do this, but how to fix it if it's broken. So I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do this, assuming you have everything set up. So what you're gonna do is open up any video and then you're gonna click the annotations button. And this is where you can actually create the annotation. So we're gonna click add annotation up here and then you can choose the type of annotation you want. Let's just use a note for the sake of it. And I'm gonna drag the box so we can make this big. And I'm gonna type click here to subscribe. So we wanna make this larger. So we're gonna make it, let's just say 28. And we're gonna drag that so it looks like that. And we're gonna give it a fill color. Let's just make it bluish purple or whatever. So you can choose you know, when you want the annotation to start, when you want it to end in the video. Now you wanna check link. Now down here is where you choose your associated website. And this is the problem a lot of people were having. The associated website option is missing. And this is what was happening for me. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that if you don't see it. So now you can link to any page on your website. It can be a subdomain, and it can be a page that is not your homepage. So I can link to my subscription page, which is just to create a website.com slash, oops, gotta be able to spell. And now people will be able to click that and then it will take them to my subscription page. So as you can see, this is a great, great way to drive traffic back to your website and add call to actions and all that. So let me just show you how this can work. So you're looking at an image I just threw together really quick in Photoshop. So what I've done is I've used an annotation. I think I use the spotlight annotation to surround the image and I turn that into a link and it'll take you to a page on my site where you can sign up for my email list where you can get all of my blog updates so you never miss any of my juicy tips as I always say. So this is one way that you can use the annotation feature. Just remember, this does not work on mobile devices. It only works when somebody is viewing the video via desktop, which is unfortunate because there are so many people now that watch videos via their phone. So just remember that it's desktop only. So because of that, you also wanna make sure you put the link in the description and make sure that people know that as well. So if this is not working for you and you don't see the associated website option, I'm gonna tell you how I fixed it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to youtube.com slash verify and make sure that your account has been verified. You have to be logged in, of course. And if not, then you'll have to follow the steps to verify your account. The next thing you want to do is make sure your account is in good standing. So you're going to go up to YouTube settings. Then you're going to come down to view additional features. And right away, you can see if your account is in good standing or not. And if it isn't, then you can follow the directions for fixing whatever's wrong. So from here, now you want to add your associated website. So you're going to come down to advanced. And then down here, if you scroll about halfway down, you will see associated website. And then this is where you enter the website that you want to associate with your account. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. If the email address you use for your YouTube channel matches the email address you use for Google Webmaster Tools where your site is verified, then you won't have to do anything but click verify and you're good to go. But if the email addresses happen to be different, you'll have to prove to YouTube that you own that site. And so you may have to upload a file to your website or something like that. So do whatever you need to do and then come back and verify and then you should see success after some time. Now what you wanna do is go back to any video and click the annotations button. Now when you click the annotations button, you should see a blue pop-up that says something like enable annotation links or something like that. And you'll have to agree to the terms, okay? And one of the terms, I wanted to, to definitely make sure I mention this, you can actually link to any website you want to. It doesn't have to be the site that you've verified or associated because you can set up 301 redirects. 
but it's important you know this. It is against the Google term or the YouTube terms and conditions to do this. So the reason I'm bringing it up is because I know a lot of people are still doing this because they're getting away with it. But I'm just warning you, it is against the terms and conditions. So when you click that, I accept the terms, you know, enable external links, when you get that pop up, you're agreeing to not use that, you know, redirect feature. Because a lot of people are redirecting to their Facebook pages and all that. It works, but it's against the terms and conditions. So I just wanted to mention that. So now you should be able to see the associated website option. If you don't, here's one final thing to try. You're gonna go back to the associated website area and click remove. Take the site out altogether and re-add it back in. You shouldn't have to go through the verification process because it's already been done. But if you do, just go through that again. Now here's where it gets a little tricky and hopefully you won't have to do this. Hopefully everything is working by now, but I got this from the YouTube creator. So thank you for this tip. You need to go to your Google plus page, not your Google plus main account with your name, your page, and you're going to go up to your pages settings. It doesn't matter. Even if you don't use your page, my page is not even associated with my YouTube channel. My main account is doesn't matter third party tools. And it's going to say your pages username is whatever. So you're going to copy that. And I blurred mine out because I don't know if there is some kind of privacy thing with that. So that's the reason it's blurred, but you're going to copy that and you're going to log into your Google webmaster tools account. So when you're on that home screen where it shows your websites, you're going to click manage site and then add or remove users. Now you're going to click manage site owners. So scroll down to the very bottom and click add an owner. So this is where you paste that username that you copied from your Google plus page. Now you might be thinking, what if I don't have a Google plus page? I can't really answer that because I don't know. All I can tell you is I have a Google plus page that I don't really use. My YouTube account is associated with my Google plus main account. So even though I'm not using my page really, and my, my YouTube channel's not tagged up with that, it still seemed to work. So it's one of those things you just kind of have to play around with. I hope that I've provided a solution for you guys if this is not working for you. And if you discover something, please put it down in the comments and, and let everybody know, because I'm just trying to help people out and hopefully this will get you linking to your website again. So good luck and thanks for watching you guys. Bye-bye.